What is the most important area of focus that you have to attend to as a leader to ensure long-term success and ability to compete? That's this week on the Badass Agile Podcast. Greetings, team. Welcome to the Badass Agile Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Williams. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. So great to see you. Hey, it's official. We're in 100 countries. That is massive. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, so much for being part of the show. As I always say, I love you because you're crazy. You're my tribe. You're my elite crew. And I love each and every one of you. All right. So here's the question to ponder for the week. What is the single thing that I've seen and that I've done that ensures your continued success and ability to stand out amongst your competition? It's simple. You got to move. Now, before we dig in, let's remember why we're here to create an elite tribe of leaders who truly serve their clients and communities by doing what matters and what works, relentlessly chasing value and excellence like a badass. There's so many resources out there about what you need to do to be agile, but we focus on who you need to become in order to lead teams. So let's hammer down those fundamentals to create a unique and unstoppable force in this industry. And hey, if this show helps you, do one thing for me, just tell your friends. Don't forget to head on over to the website so you can sign up for updates, but also reach out to me with your coaching questions. I take the best ones and I answer them on the air every once in a while. And I really love getting those emails. So you can reach me at contact at badassagile.com. This episode is inspired by a conversation I had with a group of really tight friends the other day. With every new team, in fact, with every individual that I meet, the one thing that astonishes me is a reluctance to get going. Now, a reluctance to get going can be easily identified by a sentence that starts with the words, I'll be ready when, or I'll get moving when, or I just need to wait until. If you intend to change the world, my friends, you're ready now. People who have successfully changed the world are constantly sculpting refining, playing with, and executing on their vision. If you have a burning desire to serve, if you know what the world is going to look like when you're done with it, you're thinking about this stuff all day every day anyway. But thinking about it is not the same as executing. You have to act. You have to be on the offensive. You have to be creating things out there in the world. And for me, that's my brainstorming or creative habit. I am constantly thinking about and assessing where I can add value for my listeners, for my customers, for my family and friends, and for the world and the community at large. In order to make sure that I'm moving every single day, I brainstorm for one to five minutes new ideas that I want to investigate, think about, turn into a podcast, turn into a book, or otherwise put out there into the world. And then about once a week, I'll take that big pile and I'll groom through the ones that still sound good. So when the inspiration is faded and the fire has subsided for a few minutes, I can look at things with my rational mind and figure out which ones I want to deliver or am best equipped to deliver in the here and now. And then I take those ideas and I start elaborating them. Now, I want you to do the same thing. Whether your idea is a business, whether your idea is a book, a video series, a social media empire, a magazine, a fashion line. It doesn't matter. I don't care. Start writing down your ideas today and start executing on those ideas. Now, if the first thought that pops into your head is, okay, I'll do that as soon as dot, 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 you are guilty of and suffering from the I'll be ready when syndrome. Here's the point I want to get across. It's not the quality of your ideas that matters. It's your ability to execute on ideas. Because almost every great idea started with failure. The sooner you get those failures out of the way, the sooner you can make the difference that you want to make in this world. Maybe you're struggling with ways to get your team more engaged. Maybe you're struggling with ways to get your team more open and honest during retrospectives. Maybe you're struggling to break through to people who want to be agile leaders, but are not yet displaying the requisite qualities. Whatever your problem is, whatever the value you see yourself as delivering in this world, start executing today. The funny thing is, they teach this in Agile, don't they? 
When I teach people about backlogs, I tell them that a backlog is a list of things you want to do arranged in priority sequence, and we only spend time elaborating the things at the top of the pile because they're the things that represent the greatest value and the greatest importance to us. So going back and grooming that pile of ideas and inspirations is not surprisingly a backlog grooming exercise. Now the funny thing is this, as I say this to you, you might be nodding your head up and down because what I'm saying reflects something you read in a book about Bill Gates or the Tesla guy or whatever the case may be. And yet the biggest problem that I have in trying to convince others who want to change the world of the steps you need to take in order to change it is that willingness to go. When I check back on people and I see their struggles, their struggles are always about keeping the promises they make to themselves and others. They fail to move. And it's not because they're bad people. It's not because they're lazy. It's not because they're incapable of keeping commitments. It's because of the fear. The fear of the unknown. The fear of committing to things that are hard. Uncertain. Difficult. Risky. Untested. And those are perfectly human fears, aren't they? Should we be surprised that each of us hesitates for a moment before stepping into the breach? Before jumping over the gap? And yet, knowing this about ourselves, the number one problem that I see when I check back with people who say they want to make progress in a certain direction is they simply failed to move. And if you ask them why they didn't move, they don't know the answer. They can't explain it. Well, I can explain it. It's simple fear. Courage is a muscle you have to build. Genius is a muscle you have to build. There is no shortcut to this stuff. The only way to get consistent results, whether you're starting a business, whether you're writing a book, whether you're trying to be a better coach, a better leader, a better friend, a better family member, is to act consistently. And this is where the daily stand-up comes in. If you are trying to inspire yourself or other people to move, either be an accountability partner or get an accountability partner. If you yourself are the one who is struggling, ask someone to check in with you every day. Did you make your progress? Did you do your brainstorm? Did you act on your top priority item? Find somebody who cares about your progress, who's invested in your success, who's invested in you. On my team, we call that your swim buddy. And your swim buddy is someone who is 110% invested in your success. Their single and sole job is to ensure that you don't fail no matter what. Do you have somebody like that in your life? If you don't, get one. And if you're not a swim buddy to somebody else, be one. Pick out someone on your team. Pick out someone in the office. Pick out someone in your neighborhood. Choose a friend, a family member, whatever feels most comfortable for you. And pair up. And it's the easiest job in the world. All you got to do is get up every day and shoot them a text and say, hey, Did you do your brainstorm today? Hey, did you keep your promises today? Did you get off the couch and move today? Did you send that email? Did you make that phone call? That's it. Try that practice and see how it changes your world today. Because the reality is this. All change, as we know, is a slow, imperceptible progress over time. There is no such thing as overnight mastery. There is no such thing as overnight success. There's no such thing as overnight transformation. It is a game of inches, my friends. But if you don't move that first inch or even that first eighth of an inch, you are never going to get any closer to your grandest visions and dreams. I want you to contemplate that deeply this week, guys. If you don't have an accountability partner, get one. And as soon as you've gotten one, be one to somebody else. And all you have to do from there is every single day that you're alive, get up, figure out what your promise is. What is the small change that you will make that gets you a little bit closer to your ultimate goal? And if you don't know if it'll work, that's okay. It is the act of doing that flexes the genius muscle. It is the act of doing that flexes the creative muscle. So get up, get out there, and do it. Check your progress every single day and never let go of this practice as long as you have breath within you. Do this. 
and tell me how you have changed your life, the lives of others, and the world at large. Folks, thank you for listening. You can reach out at badassagile.com or find me on Twitter at badass underscore agile. I'll look forward to seeing you next time. And until then, stay badass. Badass.